Welcome to the sixth episode which I want to build a whole quarter with you. In the previous episodes, what we did was to start these three houses here. Well, basically it's two houses because these two are connected to one another, as you might know if you have watched the previous episodes. Now, um, for this video, my plan is to finish the frames for this building and um, maybe the first floor, let, let's finish off the first floor with um, the little market stall in front of it um, to make that ready. And what I wanted to do, what my, com well, what the plan for the upcoming episode was to make um, this building here with a larger entrance. We, ha we have like a court area back here, which is going to be closed off. So this house is going to be longer. Um, and therefore we need to make a little bit more frames. So I, I probably think, oops, hello, there's something going on in the underground here. Um, so I do think that uh, making the frames and the roof and the first floor will be enough for this episode because it's going to take at least a little bit. So um, since I do want to, yeah, we have to connect the house to the, to the wall itself. So it's going to be quite long. And therefore I do think we have to change a little bit of, um, about the um, the back area here. So uh, first of all, uh, whoa, 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 let's do it like this. Uh, this is going to be the next pillar for the building. Uh, nope, it's not. It's not. Um, see, my my worry is that if I make this uh, if I make this side too straight, then it's just going to look weird from this side here, and I don't want that. So. Uh, basically, what I am going to do is to combine it with my older building style and simply uh, make a little bit of an extension here. Yep, should be okay. Uh, we need to replace this one here. And then the wall is going to go off here. And since it's going to be connected to the other building... No, let's, let's make this whole thing uh, look a little bit weirder now. Okay. Um... I do think the building here on this side is going to be at least until here, right? This is going to be... No, that's too much. Is that too much? Too much, too much, too much, too much. Um, I'm not quite sure. We have very little space here for this court, court area, so... What are we going to do? Okay, let's, let's first of all, okay, let's let's concentrate on this here, okay. Uh, we're just gonna make this on this side straight. If anything goes wrong and it looks weird, then we're just gonna lean something up from this side against the side of the wall. So it will look prettier in the end. Um, for the frames here, I kind of want to do it like this. A little bit of variation. Uh, maybe we're even going to split this up into two rooms, that would be nice. There's a wall here, you have like an entrance area, and then you go into the second room. And even here could, the staircase could be here. Well, the staircase could be back here. Okay, we're just gonna go with two rooms. Um, and now I'm just gonna have to go up these blocks here. Um, so the frames are going to continue like this. And since we have it like here, right? Yep, that's it. And then for this, we need to do the same thing. And since we do have enough space here in, in this uh, part of the building, since it has already three blocks on the inside, and not as the, the previous house that we built, which was very narrow, um, therefore I won't use the same wall that we did here for uh, this house as well to have a little bit more space inside. In this case I'm going to concentrate on the aesthetics and therefore um, we're just gonna have once again a 3x3 three three room with um, um, well the wall filled in here except for I'm not gonna use this material. Alright this thing up here is going to be very basic as well and I do think what did we do here with these houses Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just make a complete different, completely different roof on this one. Um, back here on these ones, we used 
No, we had both kinds of roofs. We had the ones going from the left to the right, and to the, well, from left and right to the middle, and the ones going from the front to the back. And the same thing happened here. So I, I wanted to make a roof going from the from the um, front to the back, but I think we should just go with a normal roof. Should we? Oh, let's just continue it here. Let's worry about it later. <sighs> Always have a concept of the whole house before you decide on small things like the roof, which is like the biggest thing. Oh, God. Um, okay, let's figure something out for this part over here. Um, 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 let's just go. This is, this is a harder house because it's firstly larger and secondly it's um, a weird shape uh, but this should be a this should be all right um, and now for the roof okay let's just go for a basic roof um, but if we start here now that will be fine that will be fine uh, let's just start with a basic roof here let's take his way up here and then have a a cross section like cross roofing thingy. Just go up here. Um, and then we're just gonna continue with stairs up until, for example, let's go one more block. Is that enough? So these are three blocks here. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, that's enough. And then we're just gonna go up one block more, so we are going to end up with a roof like this. No, I don't... Wait, 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 wait. I'm just gonna start it one block more further to the street. Um, because I wanna... Be, I wanna this, I want this part to be taller than the normal roof would be. So the regular roof will be ending on um, this row right here this here oops and this house uh, oh, th this part of the roof will therefore be a little bit taller and um, stand out a little bit more yep I do like that I do like that uh, so let's, let's just complete this um, back here with the wall it's going to be a little bit messy to place the blocks correctly but we're just we're just gonna be fine Gonna be fine. Everything's going to be okay. Trust me. Um, there we go. And we need another type of block here. Cross, uh, corner stair. And now you can see um, one of the problems when you're building this uh, in this style. Sometimes you're going to end up with um, with compromises that you have to make. You have to compromise because the the roofs here are now connecting and this will look weird and therefore this roof here has to be changed back without a proper roof ending and um, but therefore we can make a proper roof ending on this one here and I do think yeah let's let's just do another thing is this roof long enough yeah it is I'm just gonna make this kind of um, gothic -y uh, roof ending type thingy here. Uh, wait. So I need a plank. Plank, plank, plank. There you go. And a fence. There. Wait. There we go. Okay. Fine. Epic. Nice. Whatever. Okay, and now I'm going to continue the roof here. And this was what I was worried about. Uh, but not a problem at all. We're just going to continue it like this and close the roof off here. And therefore, it even makes for uh, a nice connection of the roofs. All right. Um, then the next step. Oh, yeah, right. Finishing it here. And then we're just going to move on to the rest of uh, the wall connections here. Hmm... Because this will have an overhang of one block. 
And this looks weird. It would also look weird if we did it like this. So then just uh, this part of the wall would look very weird. That wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. And therefore I'm just going to do it like this. Yep. Better have a decent um, and stable, eye, a stable uh, wall look than the roof here. Uh, the roof is not that important, at least not the roof of this house here. Uh, let me in here, thank you. Uh, we need to do the same thing on this side. Go away, please, thank you. And one more block here. And then we can place this one and this one again. And there we go. It's all connected. And then there's going to be a roof section here on this part. And you see, once again, we interfere or the wall interferes, no, the tower, the tower is the evil guy in this one. He interferes with us, and this looks weird, but I don't really want to change too much about it. And if we had, if I do change it, we have to change it on both sides. And I'm just going to go like this. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this away, and like this. No, this looks weird. Like that. Whatever. It's not that important, right? It's gonna be a house here too, so who cares? I do. I, I do care. But in this case, as I said, this style is a lot about making compromises. And I think, yeah, that's, that's going to be fine. Um, it's not too plain on this side. I was thinking about adding maybe a roof here. Maybe, maybe I even will. Like this. Nah. Nope. Not at all. Okay. Uh, let's finish up the frames for this one here, and then I do think it's almost time to end this episode. Wow. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to, uh, to build all the frames and to make up your mind how you want to go about uh, certain things. But in the end, I do think it is well worth it. And uh, let's just finish off these things here, and then the first floor, and then that'll be it. So, um, let's go about it like this. No, we can't, because then there will be a double log here. I don't want to place one. Okay, let's, let's, I'm just going to do it like this. And then maybe one here. We end up with uneven things, like we have four... Do I want to? Yeah, let's just let's just keep it. Let's just keep it. It's not that important. Uh, we have four lo uh, blocks here, three and two. That's uh, quite okay. I tend to make them um, in in the same distances so that I would place one here and one there. So we have three elements of three, but not in this case. Not anymore. Um, I do think on this side it will be a little bit too much of the wall, so I'm just going to make another frame here, and maybe even, yeah, let's, let's do the same thing here. Let's just make it a little bit messier, right? And maybe even one here. Who cares, right? It's our building. Um, and then here and there, and there we go. So we have a little kind of cross shape here, and I'm not going to make the, the overhang of the roof here, because once again, there's going to be a roof here, or basically a house, another house leaned against the side, so always keep that in mind. Um, okay, and now on this side, as you can see, we moved up one layer already, one layer that we later have to move down, and even two. And this makes of this, um, oh, basically this, this is pretty important if you're building this, so sometimes move up one layer or move down one layer, simply to have a little bit of variation in the heights of the buildings and also of these elements. So as you can see, we moved up in a diagonal line here, we started here on this one, then we have, we're in the same level, but we, we used this one block more before starting this overhang, so it's one block higher, and then we did the same thing, but we were all together on another level here, on level layer, and therefore we moved up one block more. And um, on this building it will probably be nice if we don't use this one block to start the, f the overhang, or basically I'm not going to make an overhang for that. So to start it like this. And therefore we're just going to move down a block again, even though it's on the same layer, and therefore we're just going to get a little kind of wavy shape. Um, okay, but either way, I'm um, just going to fill in the walls here, and I think it would be nice to have a window to the back side here. Maybe just one, like, one up here will be enough. 
and fill in the rest of the walls here. I'm going to randomize them, but just a little bit. And I don't want to have the entrance in the middle because it's too close to this uh, to the um, to the what's it called the, the, the tiny little ledge, if you will. And so I'm just going to make the same shape that we had back here, so that the door is on the right hand side. And still, I need to make this kind of market stall here. I don't want to have it connected to these. Um. So I was just thinking about doing it th like this. Doesn't have to be. Uh, doesn't have to be too complex. Maybe like this, or even this. And then I'm just gonna. Uh, what am I just gonna? I'm just gonna take cobblestone walls. Place two here, and now we have to do something about this ledge here. Um, let's go like this, and then no, like this, and maybe like that, and then that. And then we end up with a total sh shoot. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, okay, then I'm just gonna do another thing, another thing. I'm just gonna need a stone brick stair. And I was disconnected from the server. Great. Thank you so much, Java. You are my hero. There we go. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is to encase this area here. Um, just like this. And this is going to be, so, so he can actually, the, the person, the, the vendor or whatever, the baker or whoever lives in this house, he can simply uh, sell his stuff from here and has this part here as an entrance. And I'm just gonna place a fence gate here in order for him to get in, but so that he's also able to shut people out. And here I am going to do it like this. And like that. And now we're just gonna randomize it a little bit. Because it looks too plain this way. This is okay, not too much here. But um, one cracked stone brick here, and maybe one there, and maybe one very much at the back. I'm just gonna light this place up because I realized that it it's gotten a little bit dark. And uh, now the last thing is once again, to take stone brick stairs and place them randomized here. Also for this back area, maybe one here. And maybe even one right beneath the window. And then of course, it's once again stone. Smooth stone. I'm just, I'm just gonna bring in a random pattern. Uh, maybe one here, maybe one there, and here. And these two. And this one and this one, that's enough. And maybe this one. No, let's take this one. Alright, uh, that should be enough, yeah. Very nice. So you can see what it's going to turn into. Um, of course, this is gonna look different in the end when once we filled in the walls. But I think this is a good start. Um, and you can already see that the that the um, sidewalk, if you will, can be varied heavily with this style. So we ha we have a, a regular door here. We had an uh, have an archway. We have a tiny section with a regular door. We have a market stall here. Once again, we are going to have an entrance to a, a court area, and therefore we have a little bit of or a lot of possibilities to bring in variation to the different kinds of buildings. And uh, therefore we avoid buildings that, that I tend to, uh, well, I, basically what I did in the past was to build sing, uh, single houses that look good on their own and just put them next to each other. And therefore there wasn't uh, too much of, um, of a city feel to it, in my opinion. It was just um, basic houses put one next to each other. And this is um, something that I prefer uh, uh, for this style. Um, because you have countless possibilities to make a street that looks connected and still 
don't have to have a lack of detail or of variation and different or yeah basically varying uh, elements of it so yeah um that should be about it for the next episode my plan is of course to fill in the walls and the um floors for this and i think this is go that's pretty much going to be enough so um after that i'm just gonna add some more chimneys here and then we're just gonna start with this next building here and as you can see it's been six episodes we've, um, built three and a half houses that's okay um i could go about it faster but i'm trying to explain a little bit about it um, if you just sometimes want me to skip certain parts or just um leave some explanations um f well for me and just uh go about it and build more then uh just post it in the comments let me know what you think about it let me throw uh, let, let me throw what you mink about it yeah uh, let me know what you think about it in general about this series and with that I do think that's pretty much it so as always please rate comment subscribe join the crew become a major day to us you will and hopefully see you next time bye bye <laughs>